Hello guys, how's it going? Alex Grampion here. I hope you're well. Today I've got a quick video for you on the new tool that I've been using. So this is the Grey Pro uh, GP383. And they got a few different models, but this one is probably the best one to have in your vehicle. So this is the Jump Starter, but it's also a tie inflator tool. You also got LED light on it, phone charger. So quite a few functions in one little unit. Uh, so the link for this is in the description below for the Amazon. Uh, actually quite decent price on it now for what you get. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now, I've been trying it out and I've got a perfect car for you today to show all of the functions on. I've got a Q3 outside that's been standing there for a year, the battery is pretty dead and also the tire pressures are low so I'll show you all live videos today on everything. You might have seen my unboxing video but I'll do a quick one today anyway. Uh, so yeah, just going to show you, it's a really impressive tool, I'll box it up again just obviously for the purpose of this video uh, but yeah, I'll show you what comes in the box, how to use it, it's really easy and how everything works. The great thing about it comes with the case, it's really handy with the handle there. Uh, so, open it up, straight away you got the tire gauge there already, um, so I'll show you how that works. Uh, then we got some warning labels, uh, so you need to charge it first before you use, fully charge it. Now for the tire inflator you also got adapters there for a bike or for like basketball ball or football, whatever. And then you get jump leads with the safety mechanism on it for the boost as well. Uh, so this has got like processor inside of it. If you even if you connect it the wrong way, it's not gonna damage any electronics on your vehicle. So this is the charger. Obviously, we've all got the phone charger, so just plug it in, it's type C, and also the same thing you can use to charge your phones. If you got iPhone, obviously you're gonna need different lid, but I'm sure you know that. Right, so that's the unit itself. There we are. So, to be honest, I wouldn't say it's a huge unit. It's not that big. The quality of it feels great, to be honest. Obviously, you got the intake for the pump. Um, you got the vehicle jump um, lead port there. So you just connect it there. You can only connect it one way, so you can't get it wrong. This is the LED light at the top. You got a couple of functions on it. So you can turn it on, and then you got flashing ones as well for the emergency. So USB-C port there. So this is in. That's for charging it, and then you got the out uh, if you want to charge your phone or something else. And this is obviously for the time inflator, you just screw it in there. All the warnings and how to use is all in the back. And literally, you have to do is press on, the screen will come on. It comes with a protective screen on it as well, which is really handy. Uh, so, you got the adjustment of the tire pressures that you want it to stop at, which is pretty good. So, uh, you also got different modes on it as well. So, if you press that top button here, it goes to the car, bike, and basketball ball, but obviously, and then you got the overall. So, it's currently set on 2.5 bar, so you can go down, depending on what your tire pressure is supposed to be, and you press on, it will start pumping up, and obviously reading the tire pressure they go on the vehicle currently, and it stops when it reaches to what you set it up to, which is really handy. Then you got the light, so press that, there's the light flashing, slot flashing for the emergency so pretty good feature on that as well and then obviously press and hold and you should turn it off uh, I'm going to show you how it works obviously we're going to connect the jump leads and also do the tire pressures outside on my car uh, but yeah like I said the first impression when I opened it up was really good because like I said the quality is brilliant the screen is good easy to use only five buttons you can't really get it wrong and yeah like I said, so far the battery has been amazing and please do make sure that you fully charge it before using it for the first time, uh, which you will have there on the warning anyway. Before we go outside, I just want to quickly show you the phone charging function. So this is just plugging in at the top, type C, plug into the phone, obviously turn it on, sorry. There you go. So the battery light comes on and the phone's already charging. Right guys, so here we are, we're just outside, and yeah, I do apologize for the state of the car. Like I said, it has been standing here for a year, uh, which is pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, these ways it's become like a storage car. Uh, I'm gonna open it up. It's just got enough power, I'm pretty sure, to unlock it. Yeah, it still unlocks, but as soon as you put the key in, the battery light comes on and it won't crank at all. 
So I think this will be the ideal case for us to start up and show you how this works. And obviously I've tried it before and it starts the car spot on without any issues at all. And doesn't even drain that much battery out of it. Right guys, so it's not happy. Obviously it doesn't want to start and it comes out with the warning that the battery is draining and the battery light is on. Yeah, it just doesn't want to start. It just tries to crank very slowly and nothing happens. So I'm gonna I'll pop the bonnet and connect the battery, jump starter and We'll see what happens. If the battery's completely dead, that you haven't even got your lights coming on, etc. Uh, you have got the boost button there. That you, once it's connected, you can press it and it goes green. But you have to wait for 30 seconds before you start the vehicle because it powers up all the ECUs and gives it a little bit of life first. But I don't think we'll have to do it today. It's, my one still showed up some lights. It's not fully dead. But in case your one is completely dead, that's what you have to do. So just plug it in there. The screen comes on automatically and obviously make sure you get it the right way around. Make sure it's a good contact on the battery terminal. So obviously black to negative, uh, red to positive. Right, so the green light comes on saying correct. So you've done everything that you should. So it's all good. And now we're gonna try and start up the car, see what happens. Look at that. Perfect dim bib. Let's start the car straight away. Ignore the bit of a knocking noise because that is the injector issue that I'm having that I need to replace. But yeah, let's start it straight away. And what you need to do now is disconnect the uh, leads from the battery because obviously you can't leave it on there. Right, for the tire pressures, literally just put that in there, screw it in. Let's take the cap off. Lose it, turn it on, screen comes on. Push that on and it gives you, ah, this one's actually not too low to be honest, it's on two bars. Uh, so we're gonna set it up to 2.4. I'm gonna press start now. There you go, it got to 2.4 and you stop automatically so you don't have to worry about keeping an eye on it. Uh, now also the time that it takes to inflate the tire will depend on the size of the tire. Obviously this is quite big tires, if you've got a small tires it will inflate a lot quicker even when it's completely flat. But yeah, that just shows you obviously how well that works. Reads the tire pressure, even you can use even the tire pressure gauge, just plug into the tires to make sure your tire pressure is all good. You don't need to inflate them and it will give you the reading on there which is pretty accurate. So yeah, that's all good for that. Right guys, so here we are. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it was a quick demo and review video. And personally, two weeks, I'm happy. Quality is brilliant. It works spot on. So you haven't got any complaints at all. And obviously, uh, you have got a link in the description below. Uh, so that's on Amazon. Um, yeah, quite quick. And I'm pretty sure there's a discount at the moment. So yeah, follow it up. And if you don't want such a big unit, if you want a slightly small one with other tire uh, pressure inflator, then you can get a smaller one, slightly cheaper. But personally, in my opinion, if you put some of this in your car, I would definitely recommend having this feature because it's handy. You never know if you get a punch or etc. Uh, like I said, even just if you're checking the tire pressures, you got the screen there that shows you what they're on. Uh, but yeah, really happy. Like I said, if you got any issues, do comment below or you got any questions, I'm happy to answer. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel as it will, will really help um, to promote more videos and show you more products. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day. Bye.